I'm going to go over what I think is one of the coolest and the most powerful and overall just fun to use ways to warp text in Illustrator and that's using Envelope Distort. Basically what Envelope Distort does is it combines a shape that you can draw with whatever text you pick and the end result is basically text that forms that object. It's really, really fast and super powerful. And it also leaves your text easy to edit. So I can go in here and change it if need be. And as you can see, it's still live type with that effect applied. So it's super cool. And here's how I did this. To make this particular shape here, I just very quickly went to the object bar here and I selected a rectangle tool and I just drew one out that was roughly proportionate to what I wanted. And then I used the plus sign on my keyboard to bring up the add a point anchor. And I, right on the top path here, I just added a point. And I'm actually going to flip this to be the stroke using the swap fill and stroke near the fill and stroke panel right here. And then I used the direct selection tool right up here and I grabbed this anchor point until it hit the intersect. And I can tell it was on the intersect by using smart guides. And to turn on smart guides, it's either control U on a PC or command U on a Mac. And as you can see, once again, as I drag this down, it'll bring up this little green line right down the center of the object here to let me know that I'm on that intersect. Then using that same direct selection tool, I just highlighted over the bottom two points here and deleted them. And then I hit V on my keyboard to bring up the selection tool. And then using that, I just hold down Alt over this line right here and Shift. Like once I start dragging it, I hold down Shift so it stays in the same horizontal path. And then I can go ahead and let go. And then I just grab it and use a little rotate tool right here and just flip it around. I'm going to give this just a little bit more space. And then once again using the pen tool, I just connect these little anchor points on the ends here. After that, you can go ahead and hit Control U or Command U to turn off the smart guides if you don't want to see them. And I just go back over here to the stroke and fill where there's these two arrows to swap the fill and stroke. You can also just hold down Shift and hit X, and that'll go ahead and do that as well. And then you can type out in whatever font you want, whatever word you want. In this case, I'm using the font Cubano. It's a really, really cool free font. I'll post a link in the description for it. And just make sure that the object that you want to apply to the text is on the top of the type and to do that just select your actual object here and make sure it's on the same layer or a layer above and then right click or control click go to arrange bring to front and that'll just ensure that it's on the top and then you can select both these items they don't have to be overlapping uh, don't really worry about it and go to object and right here kind of near the bottom envelope distort and in this side menu that pops up here you want to hit make with top object and as you can see, there you are. You have it done, and it is good to go. You can even edit the actual points on your thing here if you want to, to kind of have some adjustability once you're all done. But it does a really nice job. You want to keep the object somewhat simple, so your type is still readable. But it generally does a pretty nice job of making it look good. And then if you just double click into it, you can see that it brings up the type here. And then you can select it and type whatever you want and it should do a pretty decent job of applying it within that actual object. And just as another example here, I made a, a circle and I just typed out sphere so I can just highlight both these using the selection tool. Once again to object, envelope distort, and make with top object. And it's a really cool effect, it's super fast, and the fact that the type remains editable is really nice because it's not destructive and it's easy to change later on or apply to different things. You already have the work done for you. And once again, to edit the actual type if you need to, if you don't see the actual type thing, just double click or you can click on the object and right click or control click and go to isolate selected group. And as you can see there, it brings up that type line that you're probably used to and you can just type whatever you want. And you can just double click outside the object to turn that isolate selected group off whenever you want to. But there you have it. Hopefully you found this was pretty useful. I think it's actually quite fun to do and really, really powerful once you get used to it. It offers a lot of possibilities and saves a whole bunch of time. Like doing this, if you wanted to individually tweak each letter, it would take forever. This is done in a few seconds. If you did find this video helpful, please hit like and favorite. It's a great way of letting me know. And also, if you want to see more great videos like this, hit the subscribe button. I try to put out new tutorials every week when I can. Thanks so much for watching.